guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be, or er, I'm gonna be making a plane using power couplers. Yep, the brand new block, aka the power coupler. And um, <clears throat> yeah, these things are pretty cool because you can literally make it literally a string, and you can make it invisible, and it's pretty cool. But I have to make a plane with it. But I have to use zero stiffness. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I guess I'm trying to do something. I don't know. I'm just going to try to make a plane that flies. And this might be a literal... This might be very short, actually. Actually, no. Because I have to make it fly good. Or fly good. I think you guys know what I mean. But literally, I just have to make a plane that flies with power couplers. But... <coughs> power couplers are weird. They have weird physics and... Uh, yeah. So now they're going to be putting wings. And uh, not like that. But anyways, like, this is literally the entire thing. This is the entire purpose of the video, just to make a literal plane with power couplers. Now, I have done this in the past, but I've not... But the plane that I made in the past had maximum stiffness stiffness on power couplers. Which, of course, power couplers on maximum snip, sn stiffness don't move that much. <coughs> I don't know. So, pretty much this... This could be very hard or very easy. I mean, right now, it seems easy. It might be hard. Also, I need to add propulsion. This is looking very similar to my previous build, actually, now I'm looking at it. Never mind, I just added a bunch of power couplers, now it doesn't look the same. Uh, 30 power cores, and that, that means there's 30 of these um power couplers. That's a lot. I haven't needed any... I have... I even, I, what? I haven't even added propulsion, which now I have. Now let's see if it flies. Probably gonna, probably gonna start folding. Yep, it's folding. The folding has already begun. Yeah, I mean, it's flying. <laughs> I'm gonna challenge myself to only use two power couplers. Actually, no, four power couplers. Four power couplers. Hmm. Four power couplers at, ma at zero stiffness. Let's see how this ends up. Probably gonna blow up immediately. I still need to add tail fins and stuff, actually. We're gonna go ahead and go to the tail fin section. And uh, just put a tail fin. Literally, this looks like the derpiest plane in the universe, but it flies. Or I actually haven't tested it if it flies. <laughs> Ten power. Oh! At least it makes a cool shape in the, um, in the tail fins, but this thing is uncontrolled. Wait, it actually flies. It actually flies pretty nicely. Now I'm looking at it. Or, you know, trying to control it. Actually, never mind. It flies kind of bad, but it's controllable enough. Uh, all the controls are like 50 times more sensitive now. So, the controls are 50 times more sensitive. That's what I'm trying to say, but I can't speak for some reason. And then when I let go of the propulsion, it starts be going back to normal. No, no, it's not normal. It's so weird how the power couplers act. I want to see what happens if I put it on maximum stiffness. Sni stiffness. I can't pronounce it properly anymore. Alright. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it just pulls out when it lands. That's pretty cool. So it's now time to literally make this thing beam, beam opacity. No. I'm going to make you like that. Never mind. I want to see the power couplers as they, you know. I want to see the power couplers bend. Well, I don't know if it will bend because it's a maximum sniff stiffness. What was that? Did you guys just did you guys just see that? It did a flip. I have way too much I have way too much lift on the center of mass. Um That might be an issue. I'm just going to do like this. Does that fix the problem? Nope, it does not fix the problem. Still doesn't fix the problem. Uh, um, this is probably fix. This is probably gonna. That. This is probably gonna fix the problem. Is what I'm trying to say, but I cannot speak properly. Actually, that wing that I put in the middle, it won't let it bend. Whoops. Now it won't bend. I want it to bend. I don't want it to just be like straight. I want it to bend. 
Probably I have to do it like this now that I'm looking at it. Um. So, this looks literally like the worst aircraft in history, but... It actually flies pretty nice. It's flying straight. It's not bending. Probably because it's on maximum stiffness and stuff. But, it's actually flying pretty nicely. I want to see what happens if we put it on negative stiffness. Wait, what? Negative stiffness is not a thing. <laughs> <coughs> I meant... I meant zero stiffness, not negative stiff. That's beam opacity. Stiffness. There we go. Whoa, you already saw... I already saw it bend slightly. Or, like, kind of wiggle. And it's already doing weird stuff. It's so hard to control. It wants to dive down so bad. It wants to dive down so bad. I wonder what happens if we put ma all the pow tons of power couplers like we did at the beginning. Man, these power couplers are expensive. They're one power for each. That's quite expensive for a power couple. It, it looks kind of weird. It's not bending. Well, it is bending, but it's like... Now it's like rope. Well, like, very strong rope, at least. I wonder what happens if I put a minigun on this thing. Well, we are already failing at landing on this thing already. Uh, what happens if I put a minigun on it? Wait, where am I going to put a minigun on this thing? Um. Yeah, where am I? Actually, no, I'm just going to put it on the side. There we go, we put two miniguns on this thing. These things have a ton of recoil. Oh wait, no, no. How did I not get? How did I not get damaged? That's that's my question. These things have. <coughs> these things have a. <gasps> these things have a ton of recoil. Wow. That's a lot of recoil. It also straightens it out for some reason. And so far, this thing is pretty, pretty interesting. I wonder what happens if it bends down. Hold up. I'm gonna fly super high. <gasps> <coughs> super high up and... Uh, whoa! It looks so weird. I mean, it's pretty much the exact same as it... Whoops. I, I accidentally repaired. What happens if I start firing? Wow, that's a lot of miles per hour that have been lost. It, at least when you go up, it makes a cool shape in the tail. With the tail fins, but like... It makes it... When going up, it makes it uncontrollable. Wait, no, I had to pull up, not pull down. I actually recovered! That's actually pretty nice. Uh, this thing flies weirdly... Weirdly good. Weirdly good, that's what I'm saying. But this is pretty much just... Literally just a troll. This is literally, this plane is literally just a joke. Uh, where is, I got, here is my previous build that uses, that uses maximum stiffness. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just fully silver. That what the previous one was just a test to see how many, what would happen at, you know, stiffness levels. At, well, it was kind of just an experiment. And I've already built one. This one has lasers. I, I still call them lasers even though they're called blasters. I don't know why. And yeah, that's a pretty much it. And I successfully landed. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's literally it. Uh, <laughs> uh, hold up, where, where did my build go? Oh no, I have to go to history, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is experiment. Well, it's an, the only thing that makes it an experiment is because I put so many power couplers, which pretty much make it weird. They make it weird, but also make it fun. But anyways, guys, that was literally the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video next time. Uh, bye.